Here is an interesting math equation. In this math equation, there is only two variables, x and y. Most interesting thing in this math equation is one variable is the power of another variable on one side and another side, other variable is power of another variable. On left hand side, y is power of x. On right hand side, x is power of y. We have to find what is the value of x in this mathematical equation. And at the same time, we have to find the value of y in this mathematical equation. There is no hints, no clue for this mathematical interesting mathematical equation. How to solve that? If you want, just pause this video right away and try to solve it by yourself. I can give you some hints to solve this mathematical equation. As you can see on left hand side, here is x which can be proportional to y. That means x is directly proportional to y. y. We can think like this way as a hint. So let's start. Let us consider y is directly proportional to x. So next statement we can write here, y is equal to, if I turn this proportional sign into equal sign, I have to consider a constant. Let us consider this constant is m y is equal to mx, where m is a constant here in this mathematical equation. So I want to use this mathematical equation in the given equation to solve the value of x and y. Let's solve the given equation, which is given here, x to the power y, which is equals to y to the power x on right hand side. We can substitute this value of y by mx from this equation. It will be x to the power mx on left hand side and on right hand side mx to the power x. To simplify this mathematical equation, I want to introduce a square root on left hand side and square root on right hand side as well. And then it will be x to the power mx under this square root on left hand side and it will be mx to the power x and it will be under square root similar as left hand side. As we know that this square root means something to the power half. So we can substitute this square root by power of half x to the power mx to the power power of half on left hand side and right hand side will be mx to the power x and then it to the power half. This power of half came because of this square root. We can multiply this mx power of mx with this power of half. That means x to the power m. I'm using this point as a multiplication sign. x over 2 on left hand side. This is actually power of x. And right hand side mx to the power of x over 2. That means this x can be multiplied with this half. You can see here on left hand side we have x over 2 and right hand side we have x over 2. We want to get rid from this x over 2 from left hand side and right hand side from the power. To get rid from the power of x over 2 we can introduce something new which is x to the power m multiplied by x over 2 and then I'm introducing new thing that is 2 over x on left hand side. This is the new part I introduce on left hand side as a power. Then right hand side m, mx to the power x over 2 multiplied by exactly the same thing to make it balance 2 over x. Now you can see here these two nominator and denominator they cancel each other. Similarly this x and that x they cancel each other. Same way this x that x 2 and 2 they cancel each other and remaining is x to the power m which is constant on left hand side and right hand side is mx. Now still there is a power of m. I want to get rid from this power of m. To get rid from the power of m I want to divide this left hand side by x and right hand side also by x and here again this x and that x they cancel each other. And here this m, m to the power 1, there is no power means m to the power 1. And next step I can easily rewrite like this way. x to the power m, which is this one. And this denominator x to the power 1 can be rewritten like this way, minus 1. 
this is called distribution property of mathematics and right hand side become only m there is m minus 1 as a power of x i want to get rid from this power how to get rid is x to the power m minus 1 which is remaining i can multiply this as a 1 over m minus 1 this is the new part I introduce as a power on left hand side. To make it equal, I have to introduce the same thing as a power on right hand side as well. 1 over m minus 1. As you can see here, denominator m minus 1 and nominator m minus 1 in this power section is cancelling each other. And remaining is only x on left hand side and right hand side m to the power 1 over m minus 1 yes this is the value of x that we found so the solution one solution is already solved here at the beginning as i ask you to solve the what is the value of x here in this given equation so we found that x is equal to m to the power 1 over m minus 1 where m is a constant here at the beginning i uh, uh, consider now it is the part to find out what's the value of y to find the value of y i can write this equation exactly here and from this equation y is equal to mx i can find the value of y we can substitute this x by m to the power 1 over m minus 1 that means y is equal to m multiplied by m to the power 1 over m minus 1 this is the power as you can see here m to the power nothing means here is actually a power of 1 we don't need to write it here according to the distribution properties of mathematics we can do a summation of this power and that power because the base are same we can write it within one base 1 then m to the power 1 plus 1 over m minus 1 if you do a simplification it will be like this way m to the power m minus 1 minus 1 whole divided by m minus 1 this is actually plus 1 from here as you can see here this plus 1 and this minus 1 they cancel each other and remaining is m to the power m divided by m minus 1 where m is a constant that means y is equals to m to the power m divided by m minus 1 yes this is the second solution of our mathematical problem x to the power y and y to the power x there is no clue it was a clueless issue and from this clueless issue we solve the value of x and y i say every problem born with a solution whatever is the problem maybe solution is pretty difficult but there is a solution don't get hopeless once you find a difficult mathematics definitely it has a solution and i want you to subscribe this channel it will help me a lot thank you very much see you next time